Hello, my beautiful air signs. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Welcome to your general reading. This is the Dream Clairvoyant. I want us to look at what's what's coming towards you, okay, air signs. So this reading is for my Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. If you have Gemini, Libra, Aquarius in your sun, moon, Venus, or rising, this reading may resonate with you. Remember to only take what resonates, leave what does not. Also remember that the cards represents energies that any gender can embody, okay? What's coming towards my air signs? Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. Ooh, you have the Wheel of Fortune. Okay, clarify the Wheel of Fortune. It is a karmic wheel. Clarify the Wheel of Fortune. The Wheel of Fortune says what goes around comes back around. You either have fortune on your side or you have misfortune. It just depends on what you did in the past. Clarify the Knight of Wands. Knight of Wands is a flighty energy. It's someone who's passionate and determined. Typically, this is someone who's moving away. Okay, someone who's like immigrating, a lover that is leaving. Let's see what's going on here. Seven of Swords. Yeah, someone's leaving. Passionately leaving, as a matter of fact. Yeah. Eight of Wands. Eight of Wands, it's a swift moving energy, okay? Um, something that's going to happen out of nowhere. This person who's carrying the Knight of Wands energy, this could be you, uh, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. It could be you, okay? Air sign, or it could be the one who you're connected to. Um, the Seven of Swords, it's, it's a sneaky energy. It's like doing something and not wanting to be caught or not wanting to be seen okay the seven of swords it, it can represent like um someone who's deceptive a cheater a liar a manipulator a thief why is this person coming up with this energy here let me see because they've moved on yeah yeah this could be you this could be you air signs or it could be someone who you're connected to if it's someone who you're connected to, I'm sorry to say air signs, but they're leaving, okay? This is someone who is the Knight of Wands. They're passionately moving moving forward. Um, you know, even, even romance-wise, the nine in love readings, the Knight of Wands is some is a lover that is leaving, okay? And they're doing this with the Seven of Swords. They may be doing this quietly, okay? Or they're going to do this quietly because this reading is what's coming towards you, so what's going to happen? They may be doing this quietly um, air sign where they don't want you to know. They don't want you to find out. Uh, why are they doing this? Because with the Three of Swords, Three of Swords is heartbreak. The hangman is a stagnant energy, is being stuck, feeling stuck. Um, it's like, I feel like this person was stuck on the heartbreak for quite some time. They literally went in hangman position. So... They were not seeing things correctly. They were at a standstill. There was no moving on. And now, boom, they finally moved on with the Eight of Cups. Um, Eight of Cups is someone who's walking away from an investment. So the maximum cups in the deck is 10. So this person here invested eight out of 10 cups into the situation. They really invested a lot of time, love, and effort. And they got nothing but heartbreak and stagnant energy. You have this person stuck. So with time, they were able to walk away and here they are with the Eight of Cups. So if you wanna, yeah, the Fool, I can't make this up. The Fool is is uh, a risk taker, okay? It's when you take a leap of faith into a new beginning. This person's leaving everything in the past with you and they're moving forward, air signs. Or air signs, you could be the one doing this, okay? Tell us more about the situation, please. Tell us more about the situation. Tell us more about the situation, please. Three of Pentacles. So the three of pentacles, it could represent a collaboration. It could represent studying something, recognizing something. I feel like air sign, this could be you or the one who you're dealing with. It's easy to choose which partner you are. One of you was heartbroken and stagnant with the hangman and now you feel freed. You feel free. You're moving on from a situation that you invested eight out of 10 cups into. You're the Knight of Wands. You're passionate, lively, charismatic. 
it's like a breath of fresh air has finally re-entered your life, you know, and you're moving on, okay? Um, so choose which one you are, okay? Now, the other person, if you have not moved on, then it's not you. You could be the other person who does not want, want to be left behind, okay? Uh, I'm making it clear so that there will be no confusions here. Or if the message simply doesn't resonate, you're always welcome to watch my other readings here on my channel. Most of all of my readings are timeless anyway, so it doesn't matter when you watch it. The message may still resonate with you. But back to the reading, the Three of Pentacles is a collaboration or it's recognizing something. Someone here is spying. You see how this third party is pointing a flashlight? at these two people, that's what the other person is doing. The other person who's being left behind is like investigating the situation, okay? Really, really spying. Even here on the back of the deck, the Page of Swords. Page of Swords is uh, communication from a distance, okay? So it could be like a phone call, message, social media, direct messages. Um, or it could be, so. it's a big social media card. It's a big spying card. I feel like someone's using social media to spy on the lover who they know, like they can feel, feel it energetically that their lover has moved on and is now freed from this situation. They know it. Clarify the three of pentacles. Yeah. King of wands. Now, this person is getting very anxious. The King of Wands, this is, when represented positively, this is a warrior, a defender, a protector, someone who's very ambitious, um, very fiery and passionate. But I do pick up on some um, anxieties from this King of Wands here. Someone here is feeling uneasy. Even if you look at the King of Wands, you see how he's not, he's not comfortably sitting on his throne. He's not even leaning back. His fist is balled up. There's a sense of urgency now. Um, someone here is very anxious about being left behind. Yeah, three of wands. Someone who's waiting for their ships to sail in. I don't feel like this person's ship is going to sail in with you. I don't feel like you're going to this person. They were think this whole time, if you were waiting on this person, if you were waiting on this person, it's because they thought you would come in. They were never going to go towards you. They thought you would go towards them. Three of Wands, missing someone, waiting for your ships to sail, and they thought you would go to them, which is crazy if they were the one who screwed things over, right? Because typically when you screw things over, you apologize, right? You're the one who goes to make the apology, but no, they were waiting for you to come in. So it's their ships aren't going to sail in with you. They're the one who is going to need to take action because you're you're moving on. So they were waiting for you for some reason. Now they, there's a sense of urgency. There's a lot of anxiety and nervousness here. Eight of Swords. So the Eight of Swords, Ace of Swords, Nine of Cups. Someone, the Eight of Swords, someone is stuck. Someone is still stuck on this person who's being left behind. This King of Wands is still stuck on what happened. They're re-evaluating everything. They're reflecting. They're, they're, it's like Eight of Swords is not a good state of mind to be in. It's when you feel trapped, like you're stuck in a mental prison. The Nine of Cups is... Someone who's satisfied, Nine of Cups is satisfaction, uh, it's fulfillment. Oh, let me see. I feel like I, I feel like the, the tables have turned here. They in the past they had you in the eight of swords and they they felt good about it with the nine of cups. They felt good about it. But the thing is, you saw through their illusions. The Ace of Swords is the truth. It's the most high bringing in the truth and clarity. I feel like you just realize this, that this person is, is, is just full of BS. And that this person could have even been a player. Whatever it was, this individual is full of BS. You, you know it. Whatever it is that they did, you know that they're no good for you. The most high came in and, and cleansed that blurry vision that you had and gave you the truth about this person. Right? You see right through them. You see right through this person, their tactics, their methods, their strategies. You see it all. 
So, you, so that's how you were able to free, free yourself. When you freed yourself, this person became stuck. Eight of Swords, they are stuck in their head. Let's clarify this Eight of Swords energy. Clarify the Eight of Swords. You're free. You're free from this person. Do not let this person get a hold on you again. You, you, the most high, this is the helping hand of the most high. God came in and showed you everything that you needed to see about this person. Clarify the eight of swords. King of Cups and the Hermit. Yeah, this is this is where you were. This is where they had you. This is where they're at now. King of Cups. They are deeply emotional to the point where if they don't get their emotions under control, they may become emotionally unstable. King of Cups is very easy to, be to become unstable and manipulative because they're very sensitive. This individual is stuck on you, stuck on the connection, deep in their feelings about you. They're the hermit. They could even be like isolating, locking themselves up at home in their room. They're isolating. Yep, stuck in their head. Let me see this nine of cups. Clarify the nine of cups. That's where they had you though, in the past. They had you stuck in your head in a mental prison you know, they had you feeling very emotionally unstable. They had you isolating. Just, yeah, the tables have turned. It's so clear. Clarify the Nine of Cups. Queen of Wands and the Knight of Cups. So the Queen of Wands, Queen of Wands, this is someone who um, is very confident, okay? This person's confident, sexy, uh, attractive, very secure. This is a warrior, a defender. You have the Knight of Cups that's here. Knight of Cups is an emotional, not an emotional offer, a romantic offer, someone who wants to make, this person is so desperate for you. This person is so desperate. They're coming towards you as a Queen of Wands energy. I feel like they're going to try to use their looks. Because they know that the emotional fulfillment is not there anymore. Male or female, they're the queen of wands. They're coming in, but I feel like it's to like charm you, okay? Maybe even to, to, to seduce you. I just strongly feel it's, it, they're going to try to use their charm and their, and their good looks. This could be someone who's good looking. They're coming in as a knight of cups as well. You know, trying to come on bended knees and make amends with you. I'm hearing that this person feels a fool. They feel like a fool, you guys. They are so embarrassed. They are so humiliated. Um, if this person tried to smear your name, tried to lie on you, because for some of you, you had an audience watching you. This person brought an audience to watch you. This could have been the kind of individual who was narcissistic and lied on you, brought, brought drama, brought third parties in, family, friends, whatever. And some of you had an audience, like you had their friends and family watching you because of the stupid things that they were saying, the lies that they were saying. Now they feel stupid because you're doing good. You're doing very, very good. I, I feel like you're you're flourishing, you're prospering, you, you're free. You're the knight of wands for goodness sakes. You're, you're living your life. There's no more restrictions. You're not bound to this person. You've moved on. So whoever it was that they were lying on you, uh, lying on you to whatever the stupid lies were, it doesn't even make, it doesn't matter because your success, the fact that you are moved, the fact that you have moved on and you're living your best life, it diminishes every single lie that they told on you. Uh, for many of you, this person could have tried to act like you were the one who was stuck on them. So, and so whatever stupid lies, whatever story they were spreading, You've diminished that, not even by saying anything, but just by moving on. Now this person feels embarrassed. They feel humiliated. They feel, you know, it's like whatever finger they were pointing at you is being pointed back to them because whatever... Th the way they were trying to make you look like the one who stuck on them or the one who was causing problems, whatever, they look like that now because they brought an audience to watch you. They put so much attention on you and you moved on. So now they look pressed. They look bothered. <laughs> they look bothered. 
They look uncomfortable. They look like they're still stuck to you. They look like they're the one who's obsessed with you. How they were trying to make you look is now how they look. You have the Ace of Swords that's here. Two of Swords. Oh man, this person, I'm telling you, whatever whatever they were saying, saying about you, however they wanted you to look, they snitched on themselves. They, that's how people are viewing them. This person is an emotional hot mess. The two of swords is confusion. Someone who's conflicted, someone who is in limbo, can't make a decision, right? The ace of swords, the ace of swords is the truth and it's clarity. So I really feel like for many of you, this could have been someone who was extremely immature, maybe even uh, carried narcissistic traits. I'm not saying they were a narcissist, but they could, they could have traits of a narcissist. I just feel like this person was very immature and I feel like it is clear as day people are seeing that the ace of swords is the truth and clarity there's no more illusions here not even the lies not even the lies can cover up the truth it is so clear to you you you, you see the truth and clarity about this person other people are seeing the truth and clarity about this person about you and the situation that the both of you were in so now people see that the one who is, who's actually stuck and confused is them. This person tried to make, make it seem like you were the one who was the troublemaker, who brought in confusion, that, that what I, oh my gosh, what I literally just heard is you're like, you didn't know what you were doing. That's what, that's what they were saying about you, that you're confused and you don't know what you're doing. You don't know what you're talking about. They wanted to put confusion onto you. And you said, nope, that is not me. And that is not how I'm going to be seen. You let, the, you let the situation go. They tried to act like you just didn't know what you were doing, that you were confused or that you were indecisive. It's so clear now that that is them, okay? The finger that they were pointing at you, they should have pointed it at them. Whatever they were accusing you of, they were actually confessing of doing those things or being those things because they're the one who's confused. They're the one who has no clue what they were talking about or what they were doing. It's so clear. Just, you didn't even have to say anything. You didn't have to clear up the lies. You didn't have, you didn't have to do anything. You just, actions speak louder than words. Not everything needs to be spoken of. You literally just moved on and freed yourself and that was all you needed to do. All the lies, whatever they were doing to you, whatever they were doing against you, whatever. You moving on has diminished all of this person's lies and illusions. Tell us more about this Wheel of Fortune, please. Tell us more about this Wheel of Fortune, please. Tell us more about this Wheel of Fortune. King of Swords, yeah. So this person feels stupid, okay? The, the King of Swords. King of Swords... This is, it could be a Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. Like I said, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, air sign. This could be you. I hope this was not you who did this to, to someone, okay? It could easily be you who did this to someone. Or this could be, this could be the person who you dealt with, air signs, who gave you a hard time. Take it how it resonates. You can reverse the roles however you want it to, okay? But <clears throat> I just feel like someone here really did deal with someone who was narcissistic, King of Swords at a high vibration is not a bad person. At a high vibration, he's clear, he's straightforward, he's frank, he's honest, okay, transparent, an excellent communicator, someone who is serious-minded, someone who has integrity. But at a low vibration, King of Swords can be very nasty, nasty with their communication, like nasty with, with how they speak to you, the insults that they throw at you. Um, this is this could be a mean-spirited person at a low vibration. This could be someone who is very cold, cutting, detached, just, you know, someone who is stuck in their ways, arrogant. Um, when the King of Swords is low vibration, he is stubborn. He does not want to hear anything. He doesn't want to see anything from another perspective. I mean, he it's like King of Swords at a low vibration is a know-it-all, male or female. It is a know-it-all, okay? They're not willing to hear you out, nothing. On the back of the deck, you have the Seven of Wands. It's someone who has to stand their ground, someone who's being attacked. I'm telling you right now, whatever 
this person was trying to make you look like to other people, they've got themselves in some mess. They're stuck in that mess because however they wanted people to view you is how people are viewing them. Okay? This is for those of you who had to deal with, with gossipers, where you were dealing with a lover that, that talked a lot of mess, talked a lot of BS and likes to lie, where when things don't go right between the two of you, they then go and try to get people to side with them. When I tell you this person, they're in this position, seven of wands, they're being attacked. They feel so defensive. They feel like people are against are against them. They feel like people are, are looking at them how they intended for people to look at you. Now they look crazy, they look obsessed, they look like the one who is confused, the one who is lying. It's just, it's not making sense. They brought an audience into this connection, okay? Perhaps they brought people to go against you, to side with them, whatever they were trying to do, it backfired and they feel so def <laughs> they feel so defensive with this seven of wands because they're starting to look like the sore loser like the one who can't move on from an ex okay actually let's clarify the seven of wands clarify the seven of wands what did i say ace of wands and the three of cups people are gossiping about this individual the three of cups is a group is a group affiliation. The three of cups, right? It could represent a, a, a friendship group. It could represent the community. Three of cups is a celebration, wedding, anniversaries. It's like a, a, a celebratory moment where there's groups and groups of people. I knew what I was saying. That's why I kept on saying they brought an audience into this connection to watch you. And those, that audience is a fan of you. That audience likes you now. And they're looking at this person like, okay, you're the crazy one. You lie. This person is living their best life. They've moved on. You look like the bothered one who has not moved on. Oh, and I want you guys, I want you guys to live it up. I want you guys to entertain this audience of people. Because it looks like here they brought in an audience to hate you, but they actually brought in an, an, an audience. That audience is now a, a fan of you. They're being gossiped about. That's why they're the seven of wands. They feel very defensive. People are not agreeing with what they did to you or what they were trying to do. I feel like this is actually divine intervention. I always say the Ace of Wands is the helping hand of the Most High. The Most High came in and turned this situation around for you. It could have been really um, disastrous because I feel like this person was trying to make you look bad in front of people and the Most High came in and was like, no, I'm gonna turn this around on you. You're gonna look crazy. This plan, this mess that you were creating for for uh, air sign or for, for my for my child because i know the most high does not play when it comes to his people whatever disaster they were planning for you the most high turned it around and now they have to deal with that mess they have to deal with the gossips this person looks very people are saying that this person is obsessed with you that they are angry that they're stuck on you okay people are even saying that this person is narcissistic there's some people who just they are giving, um, th this person looks like the bad guy or the bad girl. Like they just, they don't look like a good person. They lack integrity. Uh, people feel like this individual lies a lot. Like when they don't get what they want, like, oh, you're the kind of guy who lies when you don't get the girl that you want. That's how people view them now. It completely backfired because the hands of the most high came in with this wand and freaking knocked them down, <laughs> you know, for what they were trying to do. This person has a lot of drama in their life. Clarify this Ace of Wands and the Three of Cups. Death. Trust me. And when the Most High comes in, sometimes I see the Ace of Wands. Yes, typically it represents like a passionate beginning or a passionate start. But sometimes I literally see it as like the, the Most High coming in to, to knock down someone's evil plans or to block someone. Um, with the Death, the Death represents... An ending it represents a transformation this person has to put an end to their bs they can't continue this the the smear campaigning whatever they were trying to do with this audience they can't do it anymore it has come the death is a permanent ending they will never be they will never have the opportunity to do this to you or anyone again and i'm pretty sure it stops with you i'm pretty sure they have done this to other people who they dated in the past 
okay? Where when things don't go right between them and a lover, instead of them just moving on cordially and being mature, they seek to tarnish that person's name, who they were with. And I, I kid you not, I'm, I'm telling you, I see it so clearly. They won't be able to do this again to you or the next person or anyone because people see them as, as the jealous, the competitive, the narcissistic, the obsessive, arrogant a-hole who just cannot move on peacefully from someone who things did not work out from. This is a death here. This is an ending to their reputation. It's an ending to the lies, the smear campaigning, the messiness, the drama. They will never, they will never get the opportunity to open their mouth and talk about you again. It's done with it. And thank the most high for that. Look, six of swords moving on. They have to move on. They have to move away from this. It's moving moving on from, from rough waters to calmer waters. They have to shut their mouth. They have to shut up, stop talking about you, stop lying on you, stop bringing friends and family to watch you or trying to uh, get people to see you in a negative way. They can't do that anymore. They have to walk away. Thanks to divine intervention, right? So I'm gonna end. I'm gonna end the reading here. Okay, air signs. Thank you guys so much for tuning in. Remember, this could be you. I hope it's not you who did who did this to someone. If it is, you got to work on yourself. Work on your pride and ego. Um, just because something didn't work out between you and someone does not mean that you have to smear their name, gossip about them. Just accept things for what they are, respect them, and move forward. Okay. But for many of you, this was not you. This was a person that you dealt with. Air sign. Okay, you guys, I actually want us to do an extended. I want to see what's going to happen next in this situation. This person is moving on, but I want to see what's going to happen after this for you. Okay, so you can kind of get a heads up. So if you're interested in that, it's, the link is going to be uh, in the description box. Okay. Um, also, if you enjoy this reading, please like, comment and subscribe to support my channel. Thank you. Take care.